this is what I miss most about this theater at Disney Springs is they got the best like marketing and they're always big and awesome. There's a huge one for Rampage, Tully, that big one for Pacific Rim, but this one right here. The Deadpool one's funny. It's like them at a dinner table. See the picture of Stanley in the corner? But we gotta get outside, Sarah's freezing. She needs to warm up. So we were nervous when we were going towards the door that it was gonna be cold out, but it's warm. Yay. It was a really good movie. We saw Paul, Apostle, Paul, Apostle of Christ. Yes. Yeah, really good. Yes. Never heard about it before. I saw it on the app and I pulled up the trailer. Yes. Really good movie. I did those a couple of times, but I also knew, I also knew I was tired, but it was good. But I hear something fun. kids back there like the ones about to like they're waiting for the beat to drop oh, those kids are having a I love groups of kids dancing in Disney World we were so excited with Megan that we forgot to vlog this yesterday I just had a really sad thing happen to me what? Oh. she was getting all of like the rest out of the bottom and she had like a handful of five and she like went to give them all but she just dropped one. So it's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, and it wasn't for you? It's okay. Do you want to go? We can go get four more. It's so good. They've been like doing classic uh, milk chocolate caramel. How come? So we were with Megan, so I feel like we were all, our aesthetic was all thrown off. We didn't talk about any of this yesterday. Do you notice the new coloring? You think that's what they're going to keep? I'm curious if. Like this whole, do you think like that's gonna be a consistent like identity? Will the new logo or like identity of what they're gonna like, the feel's gonna be like from the inside? Maybe. There's also. They don't do it much without thought, you know? Right. I'll see if I can get it, but if we go far enough back, that's all open. See like there's no glass panes in, the, the doors are just like propped open. Just like yeah. Um, Sarah's inner seven-year-old is freaking out right now. I honestly think I've only been in here like three times. Is that weird? One time on vacation when I was little, I got like twenty dollars of the weighted candy. I had like just the bananas, no from Oh, I really, I really want one of those snickerdoodle cookies. You want to know what? I really want to do is like the make your own Rice Krispie Treat brownie thing. Jenna yeah. did that once, but I never did it. It smells like Disney World in heaven in here. Are we going to see about a boat ride maybe? Oh, oh. Okay, secret, we were supposed to go to Saratoga Springs and play games, but I forgot our game card that our friend sent us. I said thank you to Cheyenne. Yes, thank you Cheyenne, we got your card. Thank you, and I'm super excited to play some arcade games. I know, it was so nice of you. So it was literally just like, she had been here on vacation, she had put money on an arcade. And didn't use it all. And that's like one of their favorite Disney traditions, and it's never something that we've really done. We did it back on like our first trip in 2011. I still have the card as a bookmark in one of my books, so it's just proof. The there you go, maybe. So yeah, we're instead we're just gonna take the boat across. And there is a boat right there to Disney Transportation. Everybody knows Sarah's favorite thing in all of Disney World is the boat. Okay. And uh, these boats are my favorite. Really? You know, one of mine. The little ones from Magic Kingdom. Oh, like two grand party in a pally? Yeah. And sometimes they use the small ones for for Wilderness World of Lodge, depending on the season. But those ones are my favorite. Look like a crazy mark. Did we go through bubbles? Yeah, I did see problems. There's bubble marks all over the lens. Uh oh, that was early in the night. Uh oh. So we're home. 
We're gonna have a crazy vlog, I think, again. But we got really excited about Movie Pass um, being brought back to Disney Springs. So we had to jump on that opportunity. And for some reason, Sarah came up with this idea. I think it's like very like newlywed life. We're gonna make some sandwiches right now. It's like almost midnight, and Sarah's gonna make hot chocolate in the kettle, and I'm gonna try another one of these expedition roasts. This is the camp s'mores. I'm gonna make it in my French press like I'm fancy. So that's what's going on. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, if anybody has any tips and tricks about using a French press, please let them put them down below. I feel like I'm not very good at them. I just feel like like there's always grounds in them. And Sarah's using a cup that I don't think it's ever actually been used before. <laughs> and it was like one of my favorites, but she's gonna about to learn the struggle of that lip. Cause like uh -oh. look at that lip, it's super hard to drink out of, but she made hot cocoa. Try it, I wanna get it on film. It's gonna be too hot. Not chocolatey. All right, the goal here is to not have coffee grounds. Now I'm good in my coffee. I love French presses, but I just have never made like a super good one by myself. Yes, dear. So we've been talking about Tadjik Hall's newest movie, and he usually it's makes awesome a visual videos. Album. Visual album. And I was like, let's watch it. And she was like, yeah, let's watch it. It's going to be really good. And as I'm like pulling it up, Eve's whimpering right now. She's like, just don't be intimidated by the time. I'm like, oh, it's going to be like a 25 minutes. It's an hour and a half. But hour and 31 it's minutes like a, and it's 54 like a CD, seconds. But it just is all the music videos. We don't have to watch it all tonight. But we can start it. And we can Past midnight. I did just brew a cup of coffee, which I have not had yet. I conquered this mug, by the way. Also, I'll put another... I also put another pack of hot chocolate mix in there. <laughs> of of Tadrakal mix? <laughs> you said Tadrakal tadra mix. <laughs> well, it's a big cup. So, just like the movie today, Sarah fell asleep like five minutes into it. But I've been hanging out with this girl. I miss her during the day. Um. But sorry for another weird vlog. I mean, we got really excited about Movie Pass being added back to Disney Springs, so we had to jump on that, and then it was a weird time. Usually we do later movie times, so we have like a day beforehand. What's crazy is Magic Kingdom's still open right now. It was extra magic hours till 2 a.m. Um, but I think that's where we're going. I think we're going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow because Megan's there, and then we're going to Epcot on Friday because that's where our high school band's going to play, and that's why Megan's here. So we're doing Magic Kim tomorrow and Epcot Friday. Um, me and Dom haven't decided. Like we have a queue of like what topics we're gonna talk about every week for our podcast, Park Hopper podcast. But if you uh, have any ideas of what you'd like to hear, what we should talk about this weekend, uh, put a comment down below. That'd be awesome just to get uh, kind of like a little taste of what you guys would want to hear us ramble about. Because that's what it ends up being is just us rambling about it. Last week was Halloween Horror Nights, and it's cool that they came actually came out with the official Stranger Things as the first officially announced theme of the first uh, fun and house for Halloween Horror Nights. So that's going to be awesome and exciting. Also, please let me put a link down below of a really good like actual plug-in alarm clock that will wake us up because I'm still struggling waking up at, a, at the time I, I want to. And before you all say it. It has very little to do with what time I actually go to sleep, because regardless, I still have trouble waking up. What are you chewing? Don't chew on my, on my sweatshirt. Okay, I gotta go. She's gotta stop chewing on this. Thank you for following along with us. You guys are the best. We love you guys. Check out our Facebook. Check out our website. Give me a text. Give me an email. Give me a Gmail. Give me an AIM. Give me a Twitter, Snapchat. We don't really do Snapchat anymore, but sure. Send me a Snapchat. We actually don't have a Brookhart project. We still have the Fat Five Two O Seven. I think it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>